Hi friends, this is Chandan Kumar from India and you must have seen in the preview that what I am gonna make today. So let's start and draw a cylinder in the viewport, adjust it a little bit, some changes in the value of height segments and cap segments. Lower down the radius and increase the height. Now make a plane which would act like a flag. Increase the length segments, same as with width segments. And now convert it into editable poly. Adjust it a bit. Being in the vertex mode, adjust the vertices a little bit. Why I am doing this? Because uh, this corner will stick to the flagpole. I'll do the same with the lower corner. I'll choose a soft selection for this purpose. Make the fall off down a bit. And uh, adjust the corner. Now, let's texture this flag. So for that, we will unwrap it first. So apply and unwrap UVW modifier on it. Go to the face mode, select any face of the flag and choose expand face selection to seams. Now make it planar and align Y and click off and click on fit. And then click on edit. It will unwrap the flag. Adjust the flag a bit, closer to its uh, original form. Now go to tools, render UVs and, and click on render UV template. Now save this unwrapped UV template and give the name something like uh, UVW and as UVW and save it. Now let's uh, move to Photoshop and open the same UVW template. Open the layers. Actually we should uh, apply the texture in the diffuse channel first. So go to Max again. Place M for Material Editor. For diffuse, let me bring the Red Pirates texture which I found on internet. Apply it to the flag. Adjust the UV tiling a bit so that the red parrot, uh, so that the red parrot's image could be fitted in the flag area. Now let's uh, back to the Photoshop and uh, make a new layer here pick the polygonal lasso tool and uh, draw an area around the flags rendered uv template now fill the white color in this area select the black color Pick the brush tool and erase the white part something like this. Why I am doing this, I'll tell you later. In fact, I'll show you the result. 
for now uh, just uh, suppose that the white part is for now just suppose that the white part is flag and you are erasing this flag with black color of black I mean eraser whatever Keep doing this. Once you are done, just save it as uh, alpha.jpg. Now go to max, press M for the material editor. In the opacity channel bring that saved alpha.jpg and when you will apply it to the flag you will see how it looks the black area what we painted in Photoshop has become transparent and that's why the flag looks like a torn flag so keep a uh, painting in the Photoshop with black brush and um, you can give some more details like uh, if you want to show the threads of the cloth in that area where the cloth uh, piece is missing you can paint it out with a little bit gray or somewhat uh, white brush It will give the desired looks or if you want to show the broken threads then uh, pick the black color and erase or paint out the area save this and watch it in the 3ds max you will find the desired look So keep it doing guys, I have done some uh, more detailing uh, works and uh, it's pretty good now. Now uh, to make the plane as cloth just select the plane and apply cloth modifier onto it pick the plane and make it cloth now click on add objects pick the cylinder which is the flagpole and make it as a collagen object okay now pick the cloth group and select some vertices of the flag These vertices will stick to the flagpole and uh, won't move in the simulation. Now click on uh, make group. Okay. Now pick the sim node option and click the pole. So that the vertices will stick to the pole. Now click the flag and press simulate local. It will gradually simulate the cloth in the viewport go down and uh, make the check intersection and make collision on place the simulate local again and you will see that the cloth simulation is happening without intersecting each other Now go to forces and, uh, and drag a wind in the viewport.
rotate it towards the flag adjust it a little bit make the strength high give some turbulence and frequency value also actually it totally depends upon you until you play with the values you won't get the desired result click on the cloth force and add the wind in the simulation now press simulate local you may ask what does simulate local do actually simulate local shows you the cloth simulation without making any keyframe and the actual animation of the cloth it gives you a fine idea that how will it look like it also gives you chance to choose the initial action stage of the cloth like if i wish this pose to be the first pose of the simulation then i'll make the simulate local off now it becomes my first pose of the simulation now i would like to give a bit thickness in the cloth so i'll choose a shell modifier and you may see that the cloth has become a bit thick you can adjust the value to get the desired thickness it will be good to keep it minimal now apply turbo smooth over it to have a smooth look in the cloth now you can give us uh, some texture in the flag pole for this i'll use a very random texture i'm not bothered about it all just pick this texture apply this to the pole with some tiling give some bump value also you may use noise for this purpose also now it's time to apply some lights pick target spot for this purpose drag it in the viewport adjust it a little bit make another copy of it some more copies and uh, adjustments pick the primary light and choose the shadow as advanced ray traced shadow render the frame to see the result pretty good yeah now finally click on simulation this time the flag is being animated or simulated really you can see in the timeline this simulation has been set till 100 frames by default so if i want it to be simulated till 200 frames then i'll choose end frame as 200 now click on the simulate again it will take some time and yes it is completely simulated now you will see the actual animation or simulation while dragging the cti in the timeline now this is the time to render the scene in uh, tga format so go to render settings and choose hdtv format as 1280 and 720 and the active time segment uh, from 0 to 200 to save the render file just make a new folder as renders from max just make a new folder as uh, renders from max here you can save it as uh, flag.tga save and uh, choose the option as 32 bits per pixel since the alpha channel is needed that's why now everything is done and uh, render the scene it will take some time 
and yes the scene is completely rendered